What's up? Welcome back to the Metalhead Car Show. So back when I did the 2024 goals video, one of the things I mentioned in it is I want to have a fun car for the channel. Something we can do more videos with, something we can work on, and something we can build in something awesome. And as time goes on, we're progressively getting closer and closer to that point. But I want to be open and upfront with all of you towards my decision making, what cars I'm looking at, and why this might need to happen sooner than later. So let's start with why this should happen sooner than later. My car is a piece of crap. I don't want to shit on too much. It's a 2013 Ford Focus SE. I've used this car as a band vehicle. I've moved with it multiple times and I bought it in August, 2016. And at that time I put 200,000 kilometers on it. It has been a absolute workhorse and it's truthfully done amazing considering the abuse it's got. But with the car now being 11 years old, having 250,000 kilometers on it, there's just things that are starting to break and the body's kind of in awful shape and I don't see the point in fixing it. Also, we're looking into getting a new car anyway, why would I? Well, I don't have Stradman money, so we're working on a bit of a budget here. <laughs> the cars I'm looking at are in the $15,000 ballpark. Now, I've actually done a video on like muscle cars under $10,000, which if you haven't watched it, go watch it. It's one of the earlier videos I've done. Editing is very okay. <laughs> But with that said, working on a bit of a budget, living in Canada, so we actually have snow to deal with. And the only thing my wife has said, no two-seater cars if it's your only car. Still got a lot to work with. So let's get into it. I've always been around Ford Focuses. I'm a big fan of them. So one car I'm looking into is the Mark III Ford Focus ST. I've been using a Mark III for a while. So the difference is here, it has a six-speed manual transmission, has a 250 horsepower, EcoBoost 2 liter. It makes about 270 foot pounds of torque. It has center exhaust, which I am a sucker for center exhaust. And along with having bigger brakes, bigger wheels, it's also more aggressively styled than the standard car. I like these things, and this is also a devil I know, but it's also a car I have a cool plan for, or something that I'm gonna really like. So it is something on my mind. Next one, I'm kind of right as into this, I am the Focus ST, but that's the Subaru BRZ. The Subaru BRZ being like the least Subaru Subaru ever made. It has a 200 horsepower boxer four cylinder that's rear wheel drive, and I'd be getting it with a six speed manual. Depending on the mileage, these things are right in like the nine to $20,000 ballpark. You get some that are more, you probably get some that are less, but it is a price range. And the idea of cramming a, a Ford Coyote engine in one of these is hilarious to me, making it like a mini Shelby Daytona, uh, but it's way down the road. I like these things, they're pretty available. Some of the Subaru things scare me a little bit, but I would like to know for people who've lived with one, how it's actually been. So if you have a BRZ, let me know how it is. Next one being the Dodge Charger RT. No, not that charger, this charger. So I say these chargers because you can still find them, you can still pick them up, they're gonna be super practical to use. I don't know how they are for reliability, Dodge gets a lot of flack for that one, but it's one of the few options on the list that's V8 rear wheel drive and a full usable body. It's likely the only option on the list that will actually have my wife maybe in a video, but we'll see how that one goes. They're a little bit harder to find at the price range that I'm working with, but they're not impossible, so maybe. Next one being the Ford Mustang. I have been around Mustangs forever. My dad has owned five of them, I think. And it was the first car that I actually reviewed on this channel. It was a lot of fun. If you haven't watched that video, go check it out. So something like the Mustang really wouldn't work for the winter. They kind of suck in the snow, especially if you get something that's a bit older. So I would probably need to go get something for the winter if I did that. But for summer use, it's probably gonna be a great choice. It's a bit of a blank canvas, parts are everywhere, you can kind of do whatever you want to them, and these are still very much obtainable. So that one gets a maybe. And there's a lot of cars that are in this price range that I'm not looking at, like the Mazda RX-8, super cool car, lots you can do with it, but I really don't trust the rotary. Mazda Miata, I think a Mazda Miata would be a lot of fun, but that goes into the rule of no two-seaters and same deal with the C4 Corvette. But the last one's on the list of things I'm realistically looking at is the 9th Gen Civic Si Coupe. I've always loved the body lines of this car. I think that it is actually a really attractive car and the Si Coupe has the K-Series engine in it. The K-Series engine's super durable. It makes a lot of power if you give it some love. Not that it's not making power, it makes like 200 horsepower factory. 
but these things will actually hold a lot of power without stressing about it. I'm not the biggest Honda fan. We did review a Civic Type R on the channel. It was a lot of fun, but I also drove a eighth gen Civic DX and I really wasn't into it. So I'm not gonna let that one car kind of skew my view of Honda forever, but uh, who knows? Well, I wanna know, what's your thoughts? If you could have any fun car with like a $15,000 budget, what would you buy? Let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and enjoy the view scene. I post on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, and I'll see you later.